brought to you by BoardGameAtlas.com, the fastest growing board game community in the world. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Aeon's End in about 3 minutes. It has a solo mode, and it's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. Down in the depths, the underground city of Gravehold waits for the inevitable attack to come. Otherworldly entities threaten the city, and the only line of defense are the mages who tap into the very extra-dimensional power that threatens to destroy them. Can you hold the line in the darkness against the oncoming monstrosities? You all win if you manage to reduce your enemy's health to zero. You lose if the health of the city is reduced to zero, or if your character's health is zero. Deck building. You start the game with a standard deck of cards and improve it throughout the game. Player turn. Each player takes one of the available characters and forms their starting deck. Then select your nemesis for this game. Select nine sets of cards for the shared market. This will be four sets of spells, two relics, and three gems. You can choose randomly or pick which combinations to use. Gems provide ether, which is the core currency in this game. Relics are used to boost other effects, and we'll talk about spells later. You'll also need the turn order deck. It has two cards for the nemesis and has four player cards. Shuffle and deal those. If it is a player card, it is their turn. Your player area has the following information. Your draw pile, hand of cards, discard pile, Charges Tracker, Unique Special Ability, Character Health, Player Number, and Breaches. Normally you would cast spells at the start of your turn, but let's cover other actions first. Most actions cost Ether, and you get those mainly from gems. These four gems total to four Ether, so we play them to our discard. We buy this four cost card from the market and place it in our discard pile. We then cast a spell into an open breach for later use. Two Ether can be spent to gain a charge, and when you are fully charged, you can spend all five tokens to use your special ability. You can also rotate and open breaches. The rotate cost is here and allows you to turn the breach clockwise one step. The open cost is here and allows you to flip it straight to open. Spells in an open breach can stay there indefinitely. Spells in an unopened breach must be cast at the start of your next turn. If the spell does damage to the nemesis, adjust their health accordingly. Then draw up to five cards. Note, unlike most games, you do not shuffle your deck when it recycles. Just take it and turn it over. So the first card you played into your discard is now on top of the deck. If it is the nemesis turn, they play a card, which is either a minion that will attack until it is defeated, an instant attack, or a power that can be cancelled before it activates. Each nemesis also has its own special rules. Why would you like this game? Aeon's End is an incredibly tightly designed, cooperative deck building game that really shines for two players. There's a wide selection of different cards and play styles you can try, and each player can specialize in what they do. The player powers are focused on helping allies, which makes the game feel really collegial. And the different villains you fight in the game also have their own fun and unique mechanics, and each represents a different challenge. And the pacing of the game is dramatic. As the nemesis hits harder, you get better. You start off doing one damage a turn, but can end up doing lots more later in the game. The best thing about this game is the no shuffle mechanic. It allows you to build combos far more effectively than relying on the luck of the draw. However, at four players the game drags, and at three players it has this weird wildcard mechanic, which is just an awkward system. As good as it is solo and with two players, I just can't recommend it at three or four. And I had some issues with component quality. All of my nemesis and player boards came warped, and the dials are loose and wobbly, and that annoyed me so much that I got third party replacements. For a more complex co-op card game, try Sentinels of the Multiverse. And for a different theme, try Legendary Encounters Alien. Aeon's End. Two's a date, three's a crowd. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and come support us on Patreon.